preview time for race number four and this race is a class four over the 1200 metres. Awesome treasure off that second behind Super Highway last time. Red Desert has the earplugs on. Stormtrooper hasn't raced in almost four weeks. Lucky Quality wears blinkers again. Red Leader he wears blinkers for the first time. Denfield cannot draw a barrier. Island Surprise has the blinkers coming off. Multimore has had a right for humorous stress fracture, so he hasn't raced since November. And Modest Gentleman, been a little more competitive lately. Ran six from barrier 11 last time. Better, slightly, from barrier number eight this week, Nick. Yeah, here's the uh, the speed map. Now, Island Surprise, uh, he is a horse that does like to uh, to sort of sit very close to the lead. He's drawn 10, however, so he's not the best placed, I don't think, to, to go forward and, and get that lead with uh, with any amount of ease. Uh, Multimore is a horse that does like to, to stride forward. We haven't seen him for a fair while, however, has had those injury issues, but uh, can race on the pace. Uh, awesome Treasure up at the top is another one that has uh, gone forward in the past and Flaming Passion. Uh, he's got down to a very workable sort of mark and he's drawn well. Matthew Chadwick, Frankie Law. So they look to be uh, the front four, I think, Tom, shortly after selling. Yeah, and they probably have to take uh, Denfield back here, here and uh, Red Desert uh, from a wide draw as well. They're both 11 and 12, so they're likely to uh, get back. But uh, Multi Moore, um, he can certainly lead to first up for 175 days. We're going to start, though, Nick, with Awesome Treasure running second last time. This is uh, behind Super Highway, rain-affected track. His win was over 1,000. He'll have to shoulder 135 this week. Yeah, a couple of um, couple of issues there. Or I say issues, a couple of uh, slight negatives, if you will. But, look, I think he stays the 1,200 OK. He's run some good races um, over six furlongs. Uh, obviously, this race at Sha Tin and, uh, and also um, on a few occasions here as well. He wasn't a million miles away behind High Rise Soldier, two back. So, look, I thought... Um, to all intent and purposes, he'd got this one, but he was beaten by a horse in form. So he's in good nick, uh, Tom, and if he can carry the weight, he's a definite chance. He had a good battle there with Super Highway, he didn't, and he's drawn the, the right sort of spot here, barrier number four, just, just off the pace and uh, receive a, a good run. Just has to carry that uh, big weight, uh, 135. Stormtrooper Tom. Now, this is last time. There he's on the inside. He's fifth turning for home. He's got a good draw of barrier two again. He still only won one from 26, though. Yeah, so he's a frustrating horse, isn't he, that he hasn't won any more than that, but he's got six seconds and three-thirds next to his name and uh, a couple of other fourth placings. He was sort of held up on uh, turning in and he kept on OK here behind to Telecom Speed, but look, one from 26, he has been hard to catch, but I thought if you didn't tip him, who did you tip? And the stable's not got a, exactly a flash strike rate here at Happy Valley, does it? No, they have. I suppose we should be asking you about Storm Trevor, shouldn't we? Put him in for second. I thought he's disappointing that night. <laughs> I'm a uh, fan big fan, but yeah, had every chance through on the inside. So, not my job to be do doing this, Nick. But anyway, <laughs> bit nerve. Uh, we move on to Denfield. As mentioned, uh, his barrier draws have been awful, and it ain't much better this week. No, they're not. And do you know what? I actually look. I hope he can overcome it because I, I think he's a chance in this. I think he's a really good chance. Now, on paper, this might have looked a little bit um, sort of disappointing on the back of that second uh, behind uh, Kokoki Mishu, uh, two back, but. I think this was a better run than what it, it was, and I think it can be upgraded. Yeah, he's, he's slowly improving. He it did cover a bit of ground in the early stages uh, there, and he sort of raced a bit awkwardly off the back straight as well. I'm not sure he got a check or someone else was checked in front of him, but something happened down the, the side there, and uh, yeah, there was a bit of merit in that run, but it's the, the draw again. He goes in, but he'll need a lot of luck. And finally, Tom Island, surprise. Speaking of draws, good last time, barrier number one. He ran third, not so good this week. No, he, and uh, he's come up with barrier 10, hasn't he? The, the blinkers are off here. He had a, a nice run in the, the trailer, thought pretty much had every chance. Um, we've seen one for all come out and lead again and win, and Telecom Speed's come out of this race and won. So the, the form has been frank there, but I haven't got him in from the, the draw. I think he's going to have to work too hard early. Yeah, there'll be a lot of work to be done. I mean, his form overall, when you look at it in his last five, I mean, he's running races, won by Son Pak Fu, and, uh, and he wasn't that far off a hardly swears five back as well so he's consistent he's there or thereabouts but I certainly agree with Tom he does have more work to do could you run this race five times and get mm. five different winners I, I think you can and it's, I'm not overly keen on Storm Troop in this race uh, to be honest but if I didn't go with him from the draw who sort of did you go with so he's on top number three over awesome treasure who obviously has the big weight to carry here and uh, wasn't beaten overly far last uh, time out Denfield might have been a little bit higher up in the order had he uh, drawn a, a good gate here. And uh, Flaming Passion got uh, checked on the home turn last uh, time out behind uh, Snow a lot and uh, gave ground. Uh, but he is a course and distance uh, winner and Matthew Chadwick gets on well with him. So 3-1-8-10. Yeah, it'll take a bit of a punt that Denfield can overcome that barrier because I think he's a, a decent horse, especially around here. And uh, he wasn't cheap either, so Connections will be hoping that he can get that win sometime soon. Uh, awesome Treasure goes in as well. Again, a bit, of, a bit of luck required for him with a big weight, but... Uh, I think he'll acquit himself well. He is in form. Stormtrooper goes in. Look, this type of race, you know, is one that he can win. Zach Purton, good draw, 
had a winner for Dennis Yip there across the weekend as well. So worth uh, taking note. And Ireland surprise, like I've put him in, but there are certain factors against him. But it'd be a fair price. And if he can uh, run up to his best form, then uh, it'll make uh, the exotics quite interesting there. 8-1, 3-9. And, and that is race number four, the first leg of the six-up.